everyone, Celia the Lice Lady here. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment if you have any questions. So today we're gonna to be talking about different hairstyles to help prevent head lice. We have several different, from super easy to a little bit more difficult. They're pretty much all in that easy um, range right there. So here we go. I'm also going to introduce a couple products. Some of my favorite products that I have. I love the wet brush line because it really does a good job detangling, um, brushing through hair. It doesn't hurt the head. So I have wet brush paddle. Um, I have a wet brush. I like this because it gets a really good part in the hair. I'm kind of picky about the way the hair is parted. You don't need to be picky. That doesn't prevent head lice, but I just like the way that the hair is parted. Um, I really like this comb. It's a really good detangling comb. Um, and then also a line that I love. I love the Knot Genie. All of these products are amazing. It just kind of depends on your personal preference. They have these in a couple different sizes. This is the bigger one. They have a smaller one so that your kid can hold on to it easier. Another product that we're going to use today is Guap and Glam Detangler. The reason why I like this is it detangles the hair. It's one of the best detanglers we've ever used here. We can use it for all different types of textures of hair, but not only that, it has a lice prevention in it. So you're getting that double benefit, detangler and a lice prevention. So here we go, we're gonna get started. Something super simple that you can do is you can put your kiddo's hair or your adult's hair, <laughs> either one, in a ponytail. This is gonna be a pretty basic hairstyle. If your child has shorter hair, so like a pixie cut or something like that, um, you can put it in a half ponytail. Something is better than nothing. So put it in a ponytail like this. And then something that's really easy is just a basic braid. Put it in three sections. And then just braid the ponytail. So you're not having to worry about doing a French braid or anything like that but this way you're getting all of the hair out of the way. And then we're going to tie it off with a hair tie. So this is our first hairstyle. So it's just a simple ponytail, a simple braid. Of course, when you're done, use hairspray, spray everything back so that there's not loose ends. And then you have a really simple hairdo that will keep the hair out of the way, keep loose ends out of the way so that hopefully it will prevent the spread of head lice. So this is our first hairstyle. So for the second hairstyle, what we're going to do is we're going to do two French braids. So I've parted the hair down the middle. I'm picky about my part, even though it's probably not gonna look that great. We'll start over here. See, so we just take a little bit, and I'm honestly not the best braider ever, but ultimately what matters is that there's no loose hair sticking out. Lice can attach to the hair extremely fast, and so you wanna make sure that what you're doing is you're just not leaving any loose hair out so that lice can attach to the hair. There's lots of videos available on the exact how-tos of braiding and the how-tos of how to do hair. Um, this is just the purpose of this, is showing you the, the hairstyles that we recommend. So this is just your basic French braid, there's nothing special about it. You can do a Dutch braid. Like I said, the point is, is just to make sure that you are getting all those pieces of the hair back. If you run into any tangles along the way, you can go ahead and use that Glop and Glam Tangler Spray. And when you're done, finish up with the Prevention Spray from Lice Clinics of America and or that detangler spray.
So I'm not the best braider, but you get the picture. This is another good hairstyle because it's keeping the hair tight. There's really no loose ends. It's keeping things away from other people. That head to head contact, there's not a lot of options for loose hair to get out. This is a really good way, um, another good preventative hairstyle. So let's show you another one that we have. So for this next hairstyle, it's gonna be super simple, just brushing the hair all the way back. You can spray it, make sure it's in place. And then it's a really simple braid, just in the back of the hair, just like this. Um, this is for people that aren't super confident doing a French braid or something like that, but it takes just a couple seconds if you don't have a lot of time in the morning that's a really easy way to keep that hair back. And voila, easy. This would be good sending kids to school with. It's easy, it's fast, it's quick, and it takes like 30 seconds to do. So another hairstyle you can do, it's called fun buns, messy buns, however you wanna call it. Um, you part the hair down the middle, this is one of my daughter's favorite hairstyles. We like to do this one a lot. And then you put the hair in pigtails on each side. You could keep the hair in pigtails if you wanted to, but I do like to try to avoid having that loose hair. So you twist the ponytail hair, then wrap it around the pony and then you're going to take the ponytail holder and so you have a bun on the side of the head, just like that. So again, twist the pony, wrap it around. So here's another hairstyle, but we're gonna show you another little spin off of this hairstyle, just using one side. So another spin on these buns is you have the space bun, and then you can have the fun bun. So just taking something super messy, like this, turning it just kind of, you don't really care where it goes, like that. And then we're gonna bobby pin A cut whole things in place. Just like that. And then you get more of like a messy bun, fun bun on your head. So here are the two variations of what you can do for your kid's head. Your child's hair is up, it's out of the way, Here's some different hairstyles for your kid. So just make sure that you keep your kiddo's hair up. All the products you can find in the description below, and we hope you have a happy and life-free day.